video on this cheap um, scale that I picked up in the supermarket. It's digital. So I kind of, uh, I'm not really into doing product reviews because I'm um, not really kind of quite that interested. But um, like my granddad, always, my granddad always said, you know, like buy cheap, buy twice. Uh, and this was only 5 99 And normally when I buy a scale that's like that, they're a little bit more robust. Well, we'll see if it's a little bit more robust. And they're about 20 quid. So it's just for work. Um, I need something at work and it's just easier to have something like that that I can put a bowl on uh, or if I'm kind of weighing things uh, uh, and the I'm not sure how much is in the container and I've got a similar container I can put a, a, a different container on the scales and then uh, tear it off um, or reset it to zero tearing it off that's a um, technical term uh, when you tear the scales back I, I don't know where that comes from but anyway so like get recap so uh, kind of deduct off the, the, the weight of the container and then just I don't know how much uh, stuff is actually in that container so uh, I just need some scales and the ones that work they're, they're just getting a little bit too tired they are the retired ones from home so they were getting a bit beat up so I've taken the ones from home and I've taken them to work and now they're just getting a little bit too beat up for work uh, and I think they might fail so I had to get myself a new skip set of scales these are only 5 99 so I just thought we'd have a look at them and see what they're like so it looks like I opened it but I have oh no I did I opened it in the shop and I just wanted to have a look so I don't know if it'll come with batteries I don't know anything so but we'll just have a look and see what we think um because so I did buy some scales some years ago I haven't got them anymore um and I had them for about six or seven years maybe even ten years and then I went and bought them a new set and they were exactly the same just lighter so the kind of the technology is it's it it's not come on leaps and bounds in weighing scale in the weighing scale world so just because they're cheap now probably just means that it's just older technology you know but still useful but that looks all right doesn't it so we need to fit the board's not flat so we need something flat on the board Let's see if it works properly so that can just work there Hopefully that will work. Oh, I need a screwdriver. Hang on. Right, I've got a screwdriver. So let's open this up. We'll see if it comes up. It looks like it's got a battery with it. But we'll just kind of make sure. Because otherwise we'll have to find ourselves a battery. We well, might have one that fits it. But we'll kind of see. So, oh, okay. Yeah, we've got that type of battery. So, we've got a battery. Just pull that out and then it should work. But it's definitely got a battery in it. I mean, I don't know how long these things last, but it seems alright. But it seems alright, so. Tear it to zero. It just does kilograms and pounds, which is kind of quite useful. So, let's put some power on it. It says it does it with five kilos. That seems alright, so. So, yeah, so if I had another container, I don't have, no, I don't know where the other container is. But you just want to color, but you just, um, tear it off and you press that button and it goes back to zero and then you kind of whatever you put in there it'll be a good kind of weight won't it so let's put some water in yeah that's good it's even said that i've teared it i've turned the container off so 400 grams seems kind of quite fine it's supposed to go up to Five kilos it says. Does it say? I'm sure it does. Yeah, five kilos. So I should be able to press down on it and apply five kilos worth of pressure to it. That's quite a lot actually. That's quite a lot. That's quite a lot of pressure. So it takes it to five and then just, just slightly over five kilos it goes up to. It's alright, is that? I've got what I've got there, what I've got around the house that's heavy. I'll find something that's heavy, hang on. Right, I've got my cast iron pot. So, we can tear that off back to zero. And then the recycling. And then I've got my cast iron pot, so. Oh no, cast iron pot weighs more than five kilos. That's, oh, maybe without the lid. Maybe without the lid. Oh no, it turned it off. Oh, so I no, guess no, no. we'll tear it off then. Back to zero. And then we can see that weighs four kilos. The lid 
grid. 1.7 kilos. Now, it's all right. It's that. But that's all right for a little sketch and scale for 5.99. Uh, if it's if it's going to carry, if it's going to carry five kilos. That's quite robust, is that? That's an all right buy for 5.99. It was reduced. I think it was about tenner, and then it was down to 5.99. But it's technology. It's like a calculator. So a calculator is the technology has been around for you know for, for a long time. So and the the, the technology is always there, so it, it's not leaps and bounds and moved on. And the, the cutting edge of, of, of technology of, of scales or, or calculators, it's just all right. If that, so I don't always agree with buy cheap, buy twice, but that's not so bad. Um, and that will quite happily sit on the shelf at work. And when I need it, I need it. And it's the same battery as I use in my other, so it's that's the same battery in that one as in that one, so that's all right. That's all right. So I know now that I don't need to spend a, uh, a fortune on a on a scale. I can I can buy a cheaper one. Um, my only problem with these scales is that I want to put big balls on them. So difficult if you've got a bowl like that to put that on. I mean it's glass and you can kind of see. But if I'm going to put on a, a bigger bowl when I'm mixing a load of pastry, it starts getting a little bit more tricky that you just can't see the scales just as easily because you can't see through that and to look underneath the only problem with that is that if you don't have a, a bigger scale you start to spend a lot of money but it's all right for that, you know, is that i would want my color and um, if if that one breaks i think i'll just buy myself one like that i mean that that looks nice doesn't it it's shiny stainless steel you know, and a bit of, and a bit of aluminium or plastic, but it's all right for for, for the what we call it for the um, for the job that it's going to do as a as a backup scale at work. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's fully worth five ninety nine. So need to add that to turn it off, it'll turn off automatically. But also press the button down, and it turns itself off, so it's going to save you some power. So I don't know how long the battery will last, uh, but I do always keep a couple of batteries. Uh, with me uh, in the car as part of the you know just a, like a just in case like a few things in the car that are just useful so like some spare batteries and all that kind of stuff just in case but there we go it's all right is that